Yes, yes, okay, so today we are back for another tutorial Tuesday. And by the end of this video, you will have learned the ninja around the world. It's pretty dope, it looks like this. And to make it super simple, we've broken it down into three key steps to make sure you get it. So step one is going to be the crossover. The crossover is a pretty famous skill. If you can't do it already, let's break it down. What I'd recommend is taking the ball, you're going to drop it and you're gonna visualize, just to start with, hopping off your strong foot. So I'm right footed, so what's gonna happen? I'm gonna bounce it and I'm gonna hop, connect with the ball, with the top. I'm gonna to aim for it to come straight up by hitting the ball in the middle as I hop. So I'm gonna drop it, hit it in the middle, just like so and then reclaim it with my weak foot. This is the crossover. After time, I then found the easiest to flick it up and do it. And then, of course, you're gonna to wanna to be able to do it from kickups as well, just like so. When you're doing it from kickups, if you find it a bit harder, make sure that you give yourself a higher kick up so that you've got time to set yourself for the crossover. So they're all pretty low, and then we're gonna kick it a bit higher, crossover, carry on, just like that. When you've mastered this, it's time to go on to step two, which is to hop the world. So this move is massive within freestyle and loads of the top freestylers can do loads and loads of hop the worlds in a row. I am not a top freestyler, obviously I'm a panel player, however, I'm gonna break it down the best I can. It's called hop the world because as you kick it with your weak foot, you have to hop, plant it, lift your other foot to do the inside revolution. So, we should be able to do it. Looks a bit like this, we're gonna flick it up, kick it around, ooh, just like that. And essentially, what's important for this is that we get the height right for the ball, okay? If we kick it too high, it's gonna be very hard to get our leg around unless you're super flexible, not like me. And then, once we've got the ball, if we kick it too low, oh, actually that wasn't too bad. If we kick it really, really low, um, it's gonna be hard, we're gonna have to be really fast. I'm actually surprising myself, normally I can't. Okay, kick it even lower. Okay, apparently I can actually do hop the world now. Um, but that's, hey, I can, I, hey, actually, yeah, I should be teaching this. <laughs> but no, on the real, here are some of the top freestylers doing hop the worlds consecutively. That's how it should look. Uh, so with a lot of practice, you can make it look like that too. However, what I was trying to say is if you do it too high, obviously you can't get your leg around it. If you do it too low, oh my days, man. Just, just can't, just can't fail, man. Just... Anyway, yeah, it's okay. If we, if we do it too low, you just, you just can't do it apparently, you know? <laughs> Stupid. So what we need, remember this to help the world. We want it to be straight. We want it to be not too high, not too low. And then we're gonna be, as we do the revolution, do not keep your legs straight. It's gonna to have to go a really long way. Make sure that you bend, okay? So bend at the knee. And actually, this is what PWG told me, legend of the game. Don't, this is when I was trying lemons, so double around the world. Don't do the revs like this. Bend at your knee and you can rev there. It means you can do it quicker and you're just here, boom. Just like that, not, no stiff leg. Yeah, man, I'm actually, I'm actually gonna become a freestyler now, because I can do one. Oh my days, man. Okay, anyway, yeah, that's over. Uh, step three is about combining the two to make the ninja around the world. So the third and final step is about combining the crossover and the hop the world. We're gonna no touch it. It becomes this ninja around the world. It looks like this. Essentially to do this, um, yeah, I'll be honest, I cannot do this trick every time. Um, it's something that I like using. However, I do not do it perfectly. But that's good because you can learn from my mistakes. Essentially, um, I like doing it from a flick up. It makes it a bit easier. However, um, you're gonna see some of the slight problems that can happen. So when you're doing this move, you have to make sure that when you do the crossover, you get perfectly under it and you keep it straight. And if the ball's going too far forward, when you do the revolution, 
you kick it and likely it will go away. So I'm gonna do a couple, you'll probably see some mistakes and I'm gonna tell you why they didn't work. And if it does work, hopefully we can see why, so it'll help you out. So let's just try a couple. We're gonna flick it up here. Ooh, that was okay. So what actually happened there is I came to my right. As I did it, it came to my right, which meant it was quite easy to do a revolution. It wasn't perfect, it wasn't vertical. However, it looked pretty good. Let's do a couple more. E, too low. Wow. That one was actually all right. However, I do really like doing this variation. Whoa, that was high. Uh, yeah, don't recommend doing it that high. However, it looks pretty cool like that. If you can do it like that, you're a legend. So essentially, this move is tricky. What I'd say to remember is obviously, we're aiming to do the crossover high, not too high, not too low, and then we're gonna get around it with a no touch. Make sure when you try and control the hop the world that you're not leaning too far back, else you will likely kick the ball that way and you won't be able to control it afterwards. So we're gonna make sure we do the crossover, we're leaning over it, it's under us, we can get it, woof, just like that, and it'll be all beautiful. And then you've got an amazing skill. If you can do it with my variation flick up, that is dope. However, what's even better is if you can create your own variation and maybe hit an acro off it. If you've learned something from this tutorial, please smash the like button, comment what skills you wanna learn next week on Tutorial Tuesday, and we'll try and make it happen. As per, make sure you're subscribed, hit that bell, yard MVPs.